Hey, what's going on, everyone out there? It's your boy Junis. You're now tuned into the star in you. Thank you for being here with me at the moment. Really appreciate it. Really do. <laughs> Please subscribe, like the page, and share with others. Today we're gonna be talking about somebody very special. <laughs> Y'all already hear about instrumentation. We're gonna be talking about Yasin Bey, formerly known as Most Deaf, <laughs> the one and only. <laughs> Truly happy to be doing this. So let's begin. Yasin Bey, he was born December 11, 1973. That makes him a Sagittarius. The sign Sagittarius begins from November 22nd to December 21st. The planet that rules Sagittarius is Jupiter. And Jupiter is related with the planet of expansion. And remember what I was saying in my DJ Khaled video about the planet of expansion relating with Sagittarius. You know, Sagittarius, they could be very ambitious. You know, they're not limited to just one thing. They're multifaceted, they're multi-talented. And you can see that most deaf, he don't only just rap, you know what I mean? He's a great actor, he's funny, he has a comedic side about him, he's an activist. You see his wits, you know, he's very smart, he's into politics. Also, remember that classic freestyle that he did, that had over like four or five million views. You know, he did over the, over the top, and it was very slick and very smooth. And that's kind of a trait that Sagittarius have when it comes to rap. They have this gift of gab, and, he, and they're very witty at the same time. And you can actually see this with like Jay-Z, remember him, he doesn't even write, you know, he just memorizes it off the top of his head and then regurgitates it and then spits it out there. And also you can see this also with DMX, you know, he gets just freestyle for days on in. So this is a great gift to have if you're a Sagittarius, and especially if you want to rap or you want to be in the music career, just something to think about. And also most deaf, remember, he's a mutable sign. And with mutable signs, him being a Sagittarius, they're very flexible, they have a lot of versatility. So, you know, when he freestyles or raps, it won't come off boring, it won't come off fixed. So certain rappers sometimes, based on their signs and them being fixed, it'll be the same thing, same pattern all the time. So it'll get boring after a while, it'll be very expected. But with him being the Sagittarius and being mutable, that won't be the case. He'll have a lot of versatility, a lot of different flow patterns, like I was saying before. And this is what makes Sagittarius very unique, you know, you just never know what to expect. And like I was saying, you can see it with Jay-Z and DMX, but also like Offset, um, Nicki Minaj, uh, Styles P, The Game, you know, list goes on. Different characters and personalities where they always come off different, different flow patterns. It's very unique in many ways. Yasin Bey being a Sagittarius, <laughs> he's going to come off very youthful, you know. He's going to have an aura about him that's very childlike. And matter of fact, Sagittarius themselves, they're known for having Peter Pan syndrome. You know, there's this energy about them that's inside of them that people see perspectively, you know, that shows that they need to grow up a little bit sometimes. They have like this immaturity about them. And with Sagittarius, out of all the zodiac signs, they tend to mature the slowest. You know, they usually have like a direct bond or a close bond with a direct parent where they can even come off like the mama's boy or like the spoiled daughter or something like that. So, but don't get it twisted with the youthfulness within most death being a Sagittarius. You know, Sagittarius, remember, at the end of the day, they're still very ambitious and they push forward in many ways to set examples for others. You know, they're motivators. They try to do their best for those that come after them. So you can see, you've seen it with Most Def. You know, he had that album, Black on Both Sides. You know, it's very uplifting and it gives that perspective of the black community in an uplifting way. And at the same time, it could be very entertaining where he has this humorous side to it. And speaking about entertainment, you know, relating with Most Def, it's definitely one thing that Sag is really good at, and you could definitely see that with him. You know, you've seen the movies that he's played in, like Brown Sugar, um, Bamboozle, The Woodsman, which he actually won an award for, I believe, in like 04. And also, there was this movie that I was really feeling called Something That The Lord Made. And it was featuring most deaf as a janitor. You know, he was African-American during the times of post-segregation or segregation. He was hired by the surgeon, and one day he was upstairs cleaning up. And he observed the surgeon performing. I guess he couldn't figure out what he was doing, the doctor. So most deaf gave him some kind of advice. And the surgeon was like, looking at him like, what the hell? And he took the advice and it worked. And ever since then, you know, he took him underneath his wing and was showing him the ropes or whatever. By simultaneously, most deaf was putting him on because he was naturally gifted, which is based on the title itself, something that the Lord made, you know, his, his own gifted hands. You know, it's a really dope movie and you guys should check it out. And speaking about gifts, that's something that's very relatable of Yasin Bey being a Sagittarius because Sagittarius are very, you know, very generous. And you can definitely see that most deaf. You've seen how he did it with that movie I was explaining. 
you know, the information, putting it out there that's something that we probably didn't know about and he exposed it by playing that role and also through his music, you know, giving that kind of information. Of course, obviously there's music sales, all that involved, but he didn't have to go that route. You know, he could have been very commercial, but, you know, he chose to go with the conscious route instead, you know, uplifting his peoples. And with that, you know, comes with sacrifice and sales cut because the commercial route's more profitable, which he could have did that because he does have the skills for it. But if y'all seen Barry, remember him being a Sag, you know, Sag can be very philosophical. And, you know, he operates on a high vibration because remember, he's born on the 11th and the 11th is a master number, which we're about to break down right now if y'all seen Bay. Him having the master number 11, it shows that he can be very fiery, aggressive at times because the number one in itself is ruled by Leo and Leo's a fire sign. So you see two ones, so that's double the impact. So with that also as well, he's going to be very intuitive as well because Leo's ruled the heart era, the heart chakra, which is the intuition. And not to mention, when you add the one plus the one, it equals two. And that two also plays a role with his frequency as well because the two is ruled by cancer. And cancer is also emotional, so you also see that intuition as well. So you can see why the num people that had the master number 11, they're very intuitive. They're pretty much psychics in many ways. So because Yasin Bey has this strong intuition within himself, he's going to possess a lot of confidence because, you know, he's going to know how to guide oneself. And also, not to mention, remember, the one in itself is a masculine number. It's a number that represents the beginning, someone that knows how to take initiative. And also, it could be a spiritual number as well, representing the priesthood. So when you see two ones, that means that person could be on a very high spiritual vibration. Which you could definitely see with most deaf, you know, like his presence, Zombiance, he has like this warmth about him where he seems like really cool. And you can see because he has those two ones, him with that Leo nature ruling it, and him also being a Sagittarius, and Sagittarius are very likable, so it complements him very well. With him being a master number 11, it shows that he's also very independent. On top of that, he's a fire sign, and fire signs themselves, they know how to detach themselves emotionally from people and certain things, materialism, whatever. So because of this, with most death, his independency is going to be even stronger. But also, you got to remember also, when you add the master number, the one plus the one, it equals two. And the number two, remember, that's the number of companionship. It's ruled by cancer, which is a water sign. So it's very emotional. So sometimes there could be a conflict between the two and the eleven playing this role within most death. But nonetheless, it's still a great compliment it playing a role simultaneously because at times, you know, you can see with most deaf when he's in interviews and he's talking to other people, he, he could be very persuasive and he has like this likable energy that's very calm and very soothing with that two frequency playing his role. But when he wants to get aggressive with the 11, when he wants to get his work done, the way that's done when he's spitting hard on the bars, attacking the beats, that 11 comes out that aggressive nature. So you see how he plays his role simultaneously. simultaneously. I'm not saying that the Lev is aggressive by nature. I'm just saying they know how to spark that fire when the time comes, you know? In fact, it could be very persuasive with flows with the two nature. So even the most could be independent. He definitely knows how to work well with others, which he definitely did when he collabed with Talib Kweli. And they formed that group, Black Star. Woo! Which is a classic album, you know, pretty much talk about the modern day issues going on in the black community, which is very uplifting. And it was pretty cool to hear it from a Brooklyn perspective. You know, they're both born and raised there. Brooklyn! Yeah, I'm representing. <laughs> and the thing that's interesting about the two duos is the fact that most deaf, he's a fire sign. And Tyler Kweli, he's an air sign. Air and fire are very compatible. Also, not to mention, with Tyler Kweli, he's born on the 3rd of October. And the number three is ruled by Sagittarius. And because of this, most deaf is drawn by that Sagittarius energy that's within Talib Kweli. Which is probably why they had such great chemistry when they did that album Black Star together. With Yasin Bey having the master number 11, it also shows that he's very courageous. And he'll put himself out there, he's bold. Especially with that frequency of him being a Sagittarius. You know, Sagittarius are very rebellious. And you could definitely see this when he was exposing Guantanamo Bay, the prisoners that were out there that were being force fed to eat. So he actually participated in this video and acted like one of the prisoners and it was showing an example and bringing awareness to this actually. And we actually went through the procedure of it. But he didn't follow through all the way because it was very painful and excruciating when he went through it. But still, nonetheless though, he was still courageous enough to even do it and bring awareness to it and be real about it, you know what I'm saying? 
So with him having this number that he possesses, that's something that he's always going to seek for is the truth. Be truthful for himself and others to the best of his abilities. And him being truthful for himself and operating on a high frequency spiritually will definitely be solidified. solidified. Because life path number is the number seven. Out of all the numbers from one through nine, the number seven itself, there's a very strong spiritual vibration attached, attached to, it. to it. And a lot of people who are born the seven tend to be drawn to spirituality a lot. They could be very religious. And as we all know, Yasin Bey himself, he's Muslim and practiced very faithfully. But most people who are sevens, like people who are sevens, born the 16, born on the 25th, it's just something that they're just drawn to and that's just within them because of the high vibration to it. This because the number seven is ruled by Neptune and Neptune rules Pisces. And Pisces is known as an esoteric sign, which is very spiritual. So this is why you see people with that vibration number 7 or 16 or 25, they move like that. And also another thing that's really important that you can see vividly with most death being a life path number 7 <laughs> is his writing skills, his penmanship is just on point. And that's one that's really great with him having that life path 7. 7's seven. make great writers. And with that combination of him being a Sagittarius and having the gift of gab, and with him having the master number 11, now you kind of see his viewpoints and where he's going to come from when he's writing. You know it's going to be very positive, very motivational, like I was saying before. But also it's going to be very real and have a ruggedness to it as well. Because, you know, seven is very spiritual, but you know, with spiritualism, there's that hells and the heavens, that battle that you have to go through. So in order to go to the light, you got to go through the darkness. So that's why you're going to see that emotion with him as penmanship. And that being ruled by Pisces, you're going to really feel those emotions. And you always feel that kind of emotion with people that have that vibration of the seven. You know, like Tupac, a Chance to Rap, or Nas, anybody that has a seven vibration. But nonetheless, though, most stuff is born the 11th of December. And he has that master number. And Sagittarius, you know, they're happy-go-lucky, very upbeat and motivational. So it's a great complement of the two frequencies. And you can see that most definitely how he's carried himself throughout his life. Very purposeful, very influential. So, you know, most deaf, he's at the right place at the right spot. And he's definitely influenced in hip hop. Really appreciate you. And we definitely appreciate you guys for being here at the moment. Thank you for tuning in to the Star in You. Definitely tune in for more. Please subscribe and like the page. Share with others. And remember, always let your inner light shine. Donatello, I kick that ass like Michelangelo. Cowabunga, boom shaka lock, I break and shackle block, electrocute the ganja, parachute, we higher. Money, oopa loopa, uber took my mula, kuna matata, y'all still do me nada. Beats like Chewbacca, rockin' blue blocker, to block it from shoot, go shop, yeah. Skillin' it, killin' it, the track, this road kill, feelin' it. Sit back. <laughs>